Oh, hey people, I'm, uh, I'm here again, another trade show, this time the Musik Produktiv Hausmesse. And um, I always say, I'm not gonna comment on a guitar that I actually haven't had in my hand. So everyone's going crazy about commenting on the uh, Fender uh, Ultra something, American Ultra series. Sounds like a movie, American Ultra. I wonder what that's about. Um, so I'm not someone who will comment on something that they actually haven't had in their hands. So uh, there they are. You can't see them, but here they are. So I can actually hold them in my hands. Sorry, the camera is wobbly. It's a monopod and it's, it's wobbling. So let's take a look. I already found two things where I was like, I don't know about that. But everyone that played them was like, wow. So I'll show you the things. First, let's go into the bitching. First, I'll show you the things where I was like, really? At that price point? So. These are modern versions of Fender's guitars, which means you have the super cool heel access, which, I mean, that's something technically any guitar nowadays should have, and not something that you can't find, for example, on Ibanez AZs or anything, in a similar or lower price range. Uh, so you have the Tally, but you don't have the traditional Tally bridge. You have individual saddles right there. We have very bad lighting here. I'm so sorry. Literally, literally nothing. Uh, bad lighting. Well, okay. Yeah, now we have <laughs> reflection. So we have individual saddles, that's the point. Um, dome knobs, and then on the switch, on, on the first knob here, there's a switchy switch. I don't know what that does. But the thing that uh, I, I really like the white sparkle and the black binding, that is very sexy. But look on the side of the fretboard, look on the dots. Can you see the dots? I'm going to go with no, you cannot because the dots are pretty much not even in the fretboard but only a third in the fretboard and then they're in the neck and the dots have the same color as the neck so i'm sorry but in most lighting situations you wouldn't be able to see those side dots fender they need to be black and as by the way you're doing beautifully on the maple fretboard right there black dots this one needs some kind of color dot. Act technically, a modern guitar nowadays needs, needs lumen lace, which these are not. So, American Ultra, yes, but not ultra modern like some other guitars. I do applaud them for having locking tuners, which of course is cool. And again here, the heel. This color is kind of cool, it's a sparkle, kind of a brownish thing. So the other thing... Whew, doing this with one hand is difficult. Um, these guitars clock in at 21.39 in euro. This is past two grand, people, so we have to be critical. Again, none of that is about playing. All of that is about uh, just looking at some things. Um, we have maple fretboard, maple neck, and we have side dots that you can see, that's good. But one of the things I always look at relatively quickly is the size of the trem block, because Physics, people. A big ass trem block is something that has to do with sustain and attack and all that stuff. And a really thin trem block usually is something I find on cheaper guitars. Now this trem block is relatively thin. This is not a, this is not something I would expect on this level of guitar. Now uh, on the Ibanez AZs, for example, the premiums have a pretty thin trem block and the uh, prestigious have a much thicker one. This is more like the premium. So I wonder why Fender chose to do that. Uh, it's not congruent with the price range. Now, none of that in the end has anything to do with how good are these guitars. Um, they do look to me like, well, they're strats and tellies and jazz masters. What's the point? Um, however, especially the jazz master, come here, is a very sexy guitar. Um, especially with the black binding on the fretboard, which is just really, really, really cool. And somehow on this one, it's even sexier with the heel thing there. And they have all the traditional jazz master accoutrements, plus this little switchy that does something. Um, and then all the pickups are supposed to be noiseless. Don't quite know what that means. Yeah, are they really, really noiseless? Because I mean, Fender has done this for years and I had lace sensors in my 
93 strat, which was supposed to be noiseless. So that's only something, obviously, that we can check out uh, on an amp with people and stuff. So here we have something with a humbucker and a um, aluminum goldified pickguard, which is, I have to admit, pretty damn dope. So now, playability. Uh, I love yelling at trade shows. I can see there's a deluxe reverb. I'm gonna see if I can use this. This is of course not a deluxe reverb. All the Fender people disappeared, what happened? This is not a deluxe reverb, this is a, a Tone Master deluxe reverb, which, um, well, is pretty much a deluxe reverb. Trust me, I got, I got one. Now let's check playability. Um, I'm gonna go and you won't hear this because while well, we have a shotgun mic, if I had someone to do this, that would be good, but I don't. So I'm gonna just put this on top. It's not gonna do anything. I'm testing this for you. Shut up out there. The neck is pretty damn thin and very enjoyable to play. It's definitely a more modern guitar. And the sounds are pretty damn stratty. It's spankalicious. It's a good instrument. So if you want something more dependable because of uh, modern, more modern trem and uh, locking tuners, but you want the classic look, I'm thinking the American Ultra Series might be for you. If you're looking for a generally more modern guitar, I was hoping Fender would go further. Instead of just doing a little bit of a tweak, I was hoping they would actually give us something like an Ibanez AZ or like a Sura Modern. I was hoping, for example, for uh, Roasted Maple Necks. But the thing is, do we need that? Please comment. Roasted Maple will make it more stable in uh, um, different uh, uh, weather conditions. But do we need that? Comment below. They're solid, minus the two things that are bitched about. Price point, I, I, what, do I, I, what do I know? It says Fender on it and it's good. They come in a really good case. I know that. So I just checked them out quickly. I really need to play one longer to really see what the deal is. It's a little tweak on a Strat. I don't think it's like, oh my God, we invented the wheel again, kind of like the you know, you've never played a Fender like this before. I don't think that's it, but it's a solid instrument. So, links below, animals at the end. <laughs> 